I like how the window, the windows notification noise thingy has sort of been like how you guys can tell when I'm about to come and start stream. It's, it's the noise I make when I'm summoned. Hi everyone, so sorry it took me a while to start stream. Only 4 minutes and 44 seconds which actually isn't that much but I I'm just nervous. That is just what happens when I don't stream for a while. I just get nervous. She forgot how to log in? Okay, listen. <laughs> I forgot. Nobody knows their login passwords, bro. I just forgot my login. It's not a big deal. So I had to figure that out and everything. I've recently been in a bit of an art block, actually. Have been in an art block for a while. Trying to find myself in this cruel world. Traversing the seven seas and everything. Trying to figure out my art style. But good news is, I've been doing pretty well at animating because that's just, you know, it's not actual. Okay, I need to choose my words very carefully. I'm not saying... I'm not saying animation isn't art. I'm just saying... I, okay, whoa, okay, no. Ignore everything I just said. Ignore everything I just said. Any animators... Okay, any animators in chat. Cover your ears, okay? Um, forget what I just said. Listen, I'm an animator. I wouldn't say it's not art. I'm, I'm not good at writing things. Okay, it's just, it's just, well, I'm trying to figure out. I can't, okay, listen. I can't draw. It's a lot simpler. That is what I'm saying. That is what I'm saying. It's a lot simpler. That's what I'm saying. I'm not trying to draw a cool drawing. I just draw this 60 different times with slight variations. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> I'm fighting her life right now. I'm fighting ghosts, bro. No one's even arguing with me. <laughs> but that's what I'm saying. Hi, I'm animator. I'm covering ears. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Mute, mute, mute. Sorry, I picked up my mom's phone call on stream. To, it would have been so bad because, you know, every time I call my mom, I immediately say our address and my first and last name so she knows it's me. You know, classic, classic things to do. Classic child thing. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh no. Ima imagine doing that. Imagine every time someone calls you, you have to stay like your address and full name so they know it's you. I get afraid to pick up the phone sometimes because I'm like, what if this, what if somehow someone figured out my phone number and now they're calling me so they can hear my voice so they can make sure that it's my phone number and by me talking, they find out it's me and then they dox me. But at the same time, you just shouldn't pick up uh, scam calls. Thank you, Brian, for the pants and the hat. I appreciate it so much. Thank you, Hilarious Hayden for the turn. Red Thing, thank you Red Thing for the Prime. 
being a nerdy girl for a tailor and then rich textures for a tailor. Dude, classic red think moment. Classic. Hello, burrito. It's nice to see you. It's nice to see you all. School has been kicking me down, I will be honest. I have been not doing... I have not been doing so well as of late. I was... I was in such a bad... <laughs> it's like a comic. I was in such a bad mood today. I don't even know why. I was just... You know, you guys know like seasonal, seasonal depression where you get sad when it's cold. Is there a thing for when it gets hot? Like when it gets hot, I just get angry. <laughs> it's like, it's like the Lemon Demon song. Seasonal affective disorder. Except it's like, like metal, like heavy metal. <laughs> it's about being angry when it's hot. It's about being angry when it's hot. Summer anger. I like that song. I animated it. And then YouTube automatically made it a short. And I cannot undo... And I cannot undo it from being a short. It's just always a short now and I can't change that. I don't like how you don't give me the option. And they just automatically made it a short. Ghost in your attic underscore cheered dex 100 blood be boiling fr. For real, for real, oh my gosh. Blood boiling because you're hot and because you're angry. That is what I'm saying. Alec Haberman. Hey, any lemon demon listeners here? Listen to Ivanushka. It's like, it's basically, it's like the demo of Touchstone Telephone, but it talks about Mushroom Man. And you know me and moldy men. I just like it. <laughs> it fits it fits the theme of what I imagine better. Yes, me! I'm a Lemon Demon Enjoyer. You like Ivanushka? Are you an Ivanushka enjoyer? It's just touch tone telephone, but like with different lyrics. And I just like the way he says Ivanushka. I had a dream where my I was with a friend of mine and we were like scootering, which is weird because I'm actually like strangely afraid of scooters. I'm just really afraid of I'm just really afraid of scooters. You're a lemon demon fan? Name three lemons. Uh Oh, I almost dropped something. Oh yeah. I'm a Lemon Demon fan. I animated three Lemon Demon songs. Four Lemon Demon songs. <laughs> I surprised myself on that one. I need to be more, more confident and not worry that... Wait, do scooters have four wheels or two wheels? Scooter handles make my hands itchy. Hmm. <laughs> Just two? What? But Scootaloo and My Little Pony. <laughs> I'm sure there's some with four wheels. I have a scooter with three. Oh, my little cousin used to have a scooter with three. She has three, I think. No, no. No way, Scooter would not betray me like that. I'm afraid of scooters. I'm so afraid of scooters. Do you guys know electric bikes? I've been seeing people use those a lot recently now. And like, you know what? I'm driving it with four wheels again. And like... It's like having a motorcycle, but like, you don't need a license. You need Kitty Cali for the 69, for the, for the tier 1. You need Kitty Cali 69 for the tier 1. It's like, 
it's like, well, I know it's obviously not a motorcycle, but some of them, man, they're getting really close to just being motorcycles. Hold on, let me show you. Big electric bike. Fall for an electric scooter at 20 miles per hour. That is what I'm saying. That's why it's scary. Echo. No, I don't want to do that. Copy. Paste. Look, look. This, this, this is like, this, I've seen people driving, riding stuff like this, and it's really fast. Like, the fact that they are letting teenagers ride stuff like this, like, 16, 17 year olds ride this stuff, that is terrifying. At that, at this point, just, that is, that is scary, bro. And I know you can technically be driving a car at that age, but seeing these guys in the bike lane, that's terrifying. That's terrifying biking. And then one of those guys just like zooms past me on their basically motorcycle. Like, it's, it, they, they like, the thing is like, they like also go into the road, at least where I am. They use the on poster for your plane. They also go into the road. Like with the cars. So like they it's J Scythe for a tier one. So like sometimes like I'll be biking and I hear loud honking and I just know that they're behind me. I know that they're coming at immense speeds. It is terrifying to hear that come. I'm a biker, by the way. That's like the only exercise I ever get. I just bike a lot. But hey, listen, man. I gotta get a girl's gotta get her exercise somehow. I fall asleep listening to you. That makes me so glad to hear. I love bikes. It it is nice to bike. Some. No, I'm lying. It's not nice to bike. Where I live, it's hot, like, the majority of the time. Like, where I live, it's usually, like, 80 or 90. So, biking is not nice. <laughs> I go on walks. I'm actually on one right now. I'd go on walks if it wasn't so hot here. <laughs> Okay, I'm back. No, wait, so in California, I don't know, probably downtown, they have electric scooters to rent out. And if you lost my control on the street, and embarrassed myself in front of people. <laughs> I'm afraid of merch. Yes, get merch. Buy merch. Purchase merch. Like, I'm afraid of writing electrical things. Like, like, it's like, to me, I see, thank you, see? Really, Kayla? Ka Kaylee? Kaylee. Kaylee, let's freaking go. Kaylee. Kaylee got four. Kaylee got all four. Kay Kaylee. Shout out to Kaylee. 
I'll put I'll put Kitty on the witch wall of fame. I'm sorry I yelled, because I know some people in here are trying to sleep. Be like Kaylee. You need beauty or mega for the tarot one. Chrome, I got the PJ set. I can't wait to get it. I'm so happy. Thank you so much, and I hope you like it. Oh, yes, thank, thank you. I'll take off the mirror. Um, by the way, I like... Um, for those who don't know, what happened last, last stream was like, you guys explained Breaking Bad to me. And I was thinking about it. And like... I was thinking about it, and it doesn't... I'm just confused now. I got more confused thinking about it. It... I don't understand, man. Uh, that guy, the, um... Who's the guy? I only know, uh, Saul. Just because of that video of his face going everywhere. I keep on seeing videos... Every time I see a video of that... Did one for the tier one. So I, I saw a bug. It was a gross looking one. Oh, wait, hold on. Maybe you guys can help me figure out what it is. Let me try and look at its. Never mind. I smashed it too much. I don't know what it used to look like. It kind of looked like this. Aren't these like termites? It looked like that. It looked like that. And it was pretty small. Like this is my finger, and then this is it. I don't know how you guys are gonna tell me what kind of bug. No, not a fly. It's not fruit fly. Aren't fruit flies like pretty small? Let me see. No, not a fruit fly. And I just ruined my day by googling fruit fly, so. It was kind of. It was like. It was longer. It was longer than that. Whatever. Honestly, whatever. Come to flee among your death suffering because you killed me. Whoopsies. That's all I can say. I just say whoopsies. Sorry. <laughs> I've been animating recently. Fine. Because, okay. Because when I imagine the animation... In my head, I'm like, you really, really imagine that one part, right? Like, I don't know how to describe it. Like, there's that one part of the song that really just resonates with you more than everything else, right? Like, like, it's not like, like, some parts of the song you'll be like, okay, I need to think more about what to put there. But there's some things that you just hear and you're like, okay, I immediately know what I'm gonna put here. So that is, I finally got to the part in my animation. The, the part that I really, really knew what I was gonna animate. And now I'm excited, now I'm having a good time. But then there is a part afterwards, it's kind of like a long instrumental. And I never know what to put for long instrumentals. Nobody knows what to put for long instrumentals. Unless you're animating a fight scene. And if you're animating a fight scene, you're in a whole nother level. I'm just saying. But I'm like, at this... I'm at this, like... I, the instrumental's coming up. I need to, like, think of something. But I hate coming up with instrumental ideas because they're always bad! Also, man, it's just hard, bro. Dance sequence? 
Hold on, I need to envision the entire song in my head again. There's nothing to animate! Okay, I like... I like have this segment. It's like this. This is the entire song. So I imagined this entire part. And like some part in the in the beginning. And then I have another part that I kind of filled in the gaps for. But then I, I, I could have happily ended it there. This is where my thought process ended. But if I cut it off there, then the music would have sounded weird and cut off and awkward. So I have this entire extra part that I added just so the song wouldn't sound awkwardly cut off. But I have no animation ideas for it. Does anyone else get this? Does anyone else get this? Please tell me you get it. Please tell me you get it. Just put crown dancing. Yeah. I guess I could do that. Yes, yes, see, that's what I am saying. Nick. <laughs> but like, I, I guess I could, because I used to do... Thank you. Leah? Leah for the shirt and the pants. I appreciate it a lot. I used to do, in the beginning of my animations, like, little, like you can see it in Honey Pie, uh, Mamma Mia, there's like little animations in the beginning. I don't know, I don't, ah, I don't want to feel, I don't want to feel like I'm being lazy by just looping a two second animation over and over again. Is it a happy animation? I am very glad to say that yes it is. It is happy this time. So do not worry. There is some parts where she looks angry. But that's only because she's talking about rich people and stuff. <laughs> she's happy! No way! That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. It's gonna be very close. I already have the entire first half animated and colored, like fully animated. I could post just that and it'd be a, it'd be like a complete animation. Well, obviously the song cuts off and there was a transition that I had planned. So it's not really, really done, but I, I decided to try a different, a different, um, way of animating. Cause what I usually do, I... I do like tiny little segments and then I and then every time I'm done with the line I color it, I color it, I add backgrounds and stuff. So what I'm doing this time, I did a one big segment of just line art. And then I colored it all and I did the background. And I've discovered it that this is they probably take the same amount of time, but doing it this way, this way, feels better. I don't know how to describe it. I don't trust you anymore. I'm scared. Like, happy crown. I don't buy it. Don't worry. It's just a song where I just animate what the lyrics, like, what the literal lyrics are. Where it's just like... I make my, like, if it was like, I make my way downtown, I would just actually animate her walking down a sidewalk or something. Do you like her having fun with friends? Or just having a nice peaceful moment, mayhaps? Here, I will draw another sad crumb for the rest of the stream. Ignore all of these frowning crumbs in the corner! <laughs> Thanks to you, I discovered my hidden talent of digital art. I'm now really good at drawing crumb cats. Give her a friend. Like what? She doesn't deserve friends. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. But I'm not gonna do it. <laughs> Sometimes I see an art and it's just like so good. Thank you, Anna, for the crooked hat. I'm just like, I need to take, I need to make their style mine. I, I am going to become them. Sarah's drawing of Noel 
from Deltarune. The style was so cute. I was like, I need to make my style look more like that. Shout out to Noel Deltarune. And not shout out to Toby Fox. Toby Fox gets a big thumbs down. You know why? Because my Delta Rune save got corrupted somehow, and now I have to refight Spamton. I was, I was, I was just bored one day. I was bored one day, and I was like, you know, I'm gonna fight Spamton again just to make myself really angry for literally no reason. But when I tried to make myself angry for no reason, I discovered that my save file was corrupted. And it made me even angrier than fighting Spamton would have made me. And now I am unhappy and sad. Like, I don't know what to do! When Delta Rune Chapter 3 comes out, what am I gonna do? Do I? Do I have to replay chapter 1 and 2 all over again? No way. I don't have to, right? They wouldn't make me do that, right? No? So how is it? Okay. Spoilers for Delta Room 2 if you somehow still don't know. Or if you still want to get into it. But spoilers for Delta Room 2. Uh, I'll put this here. I'll erase it when I'm done. Cause you can just start at chapter three. But don't things from chapter two won't that carry over to chapter three? Because chapter one, there was no big difference. There was no difference in ending. Technically there is no difference in ending in chapter two, but you do have different interactions with the characters. Because Noel, because there's a snow grave you make Noel do all that stuff. Like I don't understand. How will it just, will it, like, which, which route will it take? Yeah, don't forget Birdly. Birdly's literally dead in one of these endings. My king, I like Birdly. He, he makes me sad. When chapter three comes through, I'm doing a genocide-esque route again. It'll probably take the normal route. I guess, but like... I feel like it's such a big... Difference. I mean, like... I don't know, man. Okay, no more Dark Turin. Noelle is so cute, though. I actually love Noelle. I am actually her biggest fan. I am actually banging on her door and screaming and crying. And begging her to let me in. You guys wouldn't understand. You guys aren't Noel fans. <laughs> yeah. I am with Birdly, like you are with Ethan Winters. Do okay. I know they both losers. But Ethan Winters But Birdly is Birdly is just not He's <laughs> He's not as he's not as a nice person as Okay, I know Ethan kills an entire village, but there's layers, okay? No need to elaborate. Oh my gosh, I could go on an entire rant about Chris. I love Chris. They are so cute. I love you, Chris. I love looking at your cute fan art of you and your big brother doing cute things. I love seeing cute fan art of Chris Deltarune and their mom, and their mom, Toriel. I love you, Chris. So I hear we talking about right now? Uh, video game character, as per usual, except this time it's not Ethan Winters, surprisingly. But I love Chris. They're so great. And I hate people who go like, um, Chris doesn't go by the again because technically it's an insert for the player. Bro, you missed the entire point 
of Deltarune if you say it. You are missing the entire story saying that. Did you even, you didn't even play the game. You were just saying words at this point. You were just saying words and hoping it'll make a sentence. They literally, oh my gosh. The entire lore is about how you are not Chris. That is the entire thing. That is like the entire thing. If you miss that, then you don't even deserve to play the game. You don't even deserve to say that you are a Delta Rune enjoyer. I'm just saying. But you're in the game to call Chris by them. That's what I'm saying. Everyone calls Chris by they them. So what is the big deal? Oh no, Chris. Chris is the player. That's why he goes by they them. It's supposed to be ambiguous. No, no. Chris isn't the player. That's the entire point of the game. The entire point of the game is about how you are controlling Chris and they do not like that they are being controlled. That's why they remove the heart from themselves at the end of chapter one. That is why they are always upset. That's why they get so affected by spam tin and the whole puppet thing. Because Chris is a puppet. You are controlling Chris. You are the puppet master. I do not care if you go by he, him. That's cool. But Chris does not go by he, him. Everybody, Noel even literally has known Chris since they were little, I'm pretty sure. And Noel calls Chris by they, them. You know why? Because that's what they go by. It is not an answer for the player. Like the entire Snow Grave route is about how Noelle's like, oh, Chris was never like this before. This is different. It's like it's not even Chris because it's not Chris. It's the player. It's the player. There's this really sick little detail that I like where they talk about how Chris is really good at piano. Um, um, uh, where Chris is really good at the piano. And they go to the hospital and Susie talks to Chris. They're like, uh... Susie goes up to Chris and she's like, play the piano for me or something or whatever. Are you good at it? Are you bad or whatever? It goes something along that. And Chris goes to play the piano, but since we are controlling them, they suck at playing the piano. And Susie laughs and she thinks, why does why do they look so mad right now? Because Chris is infuriated, bro. Chris is so mad that we took away the piano playing skills. Chris is live Chris reaction. That is what it is. Live Chris reaction. Chris, thank you Ashley for the shirt and the crooked hat. I appreciate it. And the pants. Thank you Ashley for the pants, the crooked hat, and the shirt. Thank you. They are mad. It's a live Chris reaction. Chris is reacting to us controlling them. They don't go in an out of mind state or whatever. They are there and they are like, it's like, they they can't talk. They can, they can, I, I'm pretty sure they can control on how they deliver things. Like the time Rousey asked them if they were okay and they said no and they like yelled it. But other than that, we choose what we, we want them to say, and that was the entire problem. Chris is upset because we're making them say stuff they wouldn't normally say. Noel, Noel knows about this because Noel has known Chris for a long time. So she's all like, huh, Chris is acting funky. Something is not right. This isn't the Chris I know. So, a super, a super cool detail. A super cool detail. Another one is like, if you drink tea or something, it. <laughs> okay, another super cool detail. It's like, there's like Susie tea, Rousey tea, Noel tea, whatever that. Chris tea too. And it's like, if you give a character a tea, thank you, Gabrielle, for the pants. If you give a character the tea, say you give Noel. Susie T, 
we all know about Noel and Susie. <laughs> you know, you know, you know. So, when you give Noel a Susie tea, Noel will drink it, and she will be like, mm, this is so good, I love this. And she gets like 1,000 health. Meanwhile, if you give Noel a Rousey tea, she has never met Rousey before. So she will not have any reaction. I don't think... Like, it does very... Like, it's tea, you drink it to heal. It does not have to, like... It does not heal her a lot because she doesn't know who Rousey is. She has no opinion on her. But... But, 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 but... Something that is very cruel. The player likes Rousey. Everyone likes Rousey. Rousey is a cutie patootie. I love him. But... Even when you treat Rousey with all the kindest... With all the kindest things. All the kisses and the head pats to Rousey. Because he is just so cute. If... You give... If you give... Chris, Rousey T. They actually don't like it that much. Which is super cool to me. I think that is so cool. Because now we're all like... And it makes it so much... So much... Like crazy to think that. We are doing all these things with Rousey. Going on boat trips. Telling Rousey we love him. Giving him gifts. Stuff like that. And then... We discover that Chris... Doesn't actually even like Rousey. Imagine, imagine not liking someone, but then for some reason, you just have to treat them like so nice. Hold on, hold on. Okay, hold on. Sorry, I got to sidetrack. Chris drinks Rousey tea. Okay, where is it? It was so cool. It was so cool. Where is it? 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 Where is he? Okay. It's like... Chris has no reaction. Chris drinks it and just does not react at all. Hold on, I'm trying It's vi- I'm trying to look through this video, man! Shout out Rousey though. I've- I've seen a lot of- What's it called? I've seen a lot of <laughs> Delta Moon theories. I love theories. But, and then Chris drinks Susie tea. And Rousey says, wow, they seem like they're into it. Because it's like... It's like... Chris actually likes Susie. Which I think is cute. Chris has a friend. I'm very happy that Chris has a friend. But I feel kind of bad that we forced them to have friends with Susie. But it's whatever. I don't even know what this drawing is. I'm like... Sitting diagonally, but whatever. Everyone loves Susie. Susie is just cute. They probably think that Rousey is suspicious, especially since Rousey has an uncanny resemblance to Azriel. Hmm. Who knows? I'm excited for Deltoon. I'm just happy that there's so many chapters, and I'm happy that I get to play them all, because it's free. But if they ever do stay costing money, I'm still gonna get it, because... Kobe Fox is cool, and I would be very happy to support it. Does Chris even like Azrio? Uh, I don't really know. If there has been, like, evidence of Chris being like, Grrr, Azrio. I don't know. But I see lots of fan art of Azrio and Chris being, like, besties, and I think it's very cute. I think, I think Toby said chapters 3, 4, and 5 will cost money. That's fine. That's fine. Honestly, I support it. Stretched crumb. 
They miss Azrael a lot. They just feel lonely and stuff. I think about that a lot. I think about how... About what the original Chris might have been like. Like... I'm assuming... That they were just a quiet kid. But I don't know. It sounds like Chris might like as you're considering they apparently play fantasy kids fantasy games as kids. I think they I think I think Chris would like Azrio. I hope so. I love theories. I love seeing theories about games I don't even understand. I think it's cool. I think it's cool how people can like Come up with things. The family girl wonky wants Azrael for college. I think. Didn't didn't Toriel and Asgore get divorced before Azrael left? I don't know. I love stuff and I just let everyone else do theory stuff because I'm a little stupid. That's what I'm saying. I am not smart enough to think of these things on my own. But I am smart enough to watch these things and absorb the information. And that's good enough. I put I am all of the views on every single video essay ever. I was watching video essays about things I don't even understand. Okay. This is gonna be... I actually enjoy being... I know it's bad because it's like, oh, when you do that, you don't actually get all of the little details and stuff. But I actually prefer to see things, to see show stuff that is just being... Explain. Thank you, Samantha, for the shirt and the pants. Like, I prefer seeing stuff like those Frederator time timeline thingies or whatever. Because I know I'm probably missing a lot by doing that. But at the same time, I wouldn't be getting, I wouldn't be seeing those little details anyways. Because I just need stuff to, to look at while I'm animating. I need stuff to be playing in the background, background noise. So if I've watched an actual show, oh my gosh, it's like when you're like busy doing something, so you're listening to the anime sub, but like you can't read the subtitles, so you have to start playing the dub. And like you've never listened to the dub before until now, so it's just like so different. But the, that's, the, that's the beside the point. What I'm saying is that I don't, I can't sit down and just watch a show. I can't pay attention. I'll happily listen to see what it's about in the theories. You my animation background noise right now? Oh, well, unlucky you. I'm gonna be giving a bunch of quizzes after this. I'm gonna test you guys. I'm gonna be like, what did I say at 16 minutes and 23 seconds? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm back around noise and I'm proud of it. I understand the toils of needing background noise to animate and everything. So, I will be the background noise. I will be a white noise machine. I will be helpful. The white noise, the white noise. I'm gonna fail. Chroma made a time lapse from your egg roasting? No way. Thank you. Oh shoot, what was that name? Thank you to the person who bought that hat. I'm so sorry. 
your link. Send it to, like, tag me on it on Twitter if you can. Thanks, come you're a great lighting noise machine. Perseria your dreams of being a lighting noise machine. I know some people take it as insult, saying that, like, don't call them white. <laughs> Are you serious, Abuka? Yeah, guys, don't call me a white noise machine. I'm a Vietnamese noise machine. Got that? <laughs> don't want to see anyone calling me a white noise machine. You hear me? You hear me? <laughs> oh my gosh. Thank you, Heavy. Whoa. Uh... Thanks for the Prime. Join stream to Vietnamese noise machine. <laughs> I hope I can be your favorite Vietnamese noise machine. <laughs> Vietnam number one! <laughs> Vietnam number one! I'm here for the Vietnamese noise! Guys, please don't. Please don't call. Please don't ever say that to anyone else. Because they aren't going to understand and it'll look very bad for you. Then you hot Virgin on for your tier one. Oh my gosh, imagine being approached by someone and they're like, you're a Vietnamese noise machine. Like, how would you even react to that? You, all you do is make Vietnamese noise. Or make a channel called Vietnamese Noise Machine. That'll be my podcast. My podcast name. Oh my god, what if I actually did... I've thought about making a podcast multiple times, but I feel like half of it would just be me talking about the same thing every single time for an hour. I have a recorded voice recording on my phone that's like five minutes long. In like... I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. I recorded it last year, I think. Or was it this year? I think it was in February, though. I can't remember what I talked about. Hold on. I feel like... What's it called? I feel like doing podcasts are hard to do. Like... I can't talk that long for an hour. Well, shut up. Sorry, not you. I mean... Mr. Beast, one million dollar Vietnamese noise. Red thing, what are you even saying? Thank you, Rita, for the shirt and the pants. Red thing, what are you even saying? <laughs> February 2021. February 2021 was when I recorded it. I'm gonna mute myself real quick and listen to it. I'm not posting that. <laughs> I'm not posting that. I sound like I'm falling asleep. I sound- You can literally hear me moving around in bed. I'm not posting that. I'll post something that's higher effort. <laughs> I'm not posting that. Post it, you coward! I'm not a coward. I recognize. I recognized my own faults, and I understood that it was not a good enough quality for you guys. Thank you, Sir Jug, for the tier one. Hey guys, today we're gonna have a, a one million dollar Vietnamese noise machine, and Chandler is going to lose. Lose to what? Me talking? 
What does that mean? Can you record any of your own versus all is horrible? I think it's just a thing where it's like a, a psychological thing. What was it? Why does listening? Yeah, um, why sound weird? I love Ego Waffles. Well, some say, well, some of the sound is transmitted through air conduction, much of the sound is internally conducted through, directly through your skull bones. When you hear your own voice when you speak, it's due to a blend of both external and internal conduction and internal bone. Huh? Huh? Okay, I'm confused. People, okay, another answer. People perceive their own voice to be a combination of those two sources of sound. What two sources? Okay, I'm whatever. Hey, Cup, lovely content. Hope you have a good day. I hope you have a good day. Your voice vibrates through your bones so it sounds deeper. Are you telling me my voice is actually higher than I think it? Oh my god. How does it sound deeper? I don't understand. Is it like bouncing around in my brain? In my skull? It looks like I'm pooping on Rousey's head. <laughs> Whatever. Yes? I wish you guys could hear my voice through my own ears. Did I run out of space to draw? No, <laughs> no. Something about sound waves? I'll just start jamming in crumbs in places. Hey guys. <laughs> I got my growth spurt. Chrome, this is important. I must have my sleeves here to tell you that the Minecraft sea pickles are negative 16,000, negative 4,500. For that. I can't read numbers, but I'm writing that down. Does that mean I was going the wrong way the entire time? I need to get Splatoon. Oh my gosh, I need to get Splatoon. And then I also need to get a capture card and I need to get Nintendo Online. Red Pink, what are you doing? Red Pink, why are you just responding to people like that? I love Red Think. <laughs> Why is Red Think so funny? It makes me mad. I'm playing Splatoon 3 all day. From Admin Switch. Sorry, you're just a mod. I don't consider mods friends. Sorry. You're just way out of my league, bro. I'm just kidding, send me a code. <laughs> Hurathon? It's too hot for a Hurathon. I'm sorry, my family doesn't use AC because it costs a lot of money. <sighs> I need to remember. I have so many. Um, Kristen, do you buy Splatoon online or do you get it for real? Um, I don't know how to say it. Do you, do you get it? Is it, do you buy it online on the store? Or do you get it like both? Both. You can buy it online and digital. I thought they did a thing where it's like you can't buy online and stuff. Is there any like recommendations on if I should buy like the uh, online one or the uh, real life one? Anyone have any recommendations? Physically or digitally? I get it online. Physical always. I'd say physical. How come? If you don't want to wait for it to download, buy a physical copy. A cartridge saves storage. You can keep it forever. Isn't really a difference. Uh, 
I don't think it matters, but I did already, so I don't lose this high card treat. My friend waited three hours for hers to download. Okay, if it's a taking up space thingy, then I'm gonna get the physical one because... You know, it's like... Uh, yeah. Wait. Where do you buy... Where do you buy games? Like a GameStop? Do I go to GameStop? I've never walked into that store in my life. The Switch storage is pretty bad. Yeah, my, my little brother downloaded a lot of games. So now I have no space for Splatoon 3. GameStop, Target, Walmart. Do you guys think it'll be sold out? Because... Because it's just come out. Do you guys think if I went to a store, I'd have trouble finding it? Anyone have troubles buying Splatoon 3 in person? Most likely, no. You shouldn't. <laughs> yes. It'll probably not be so long unless you live in a very urban area. Tried getting it today at Target and it was sold out. One hour has passed. Thank you. Thank you for telling me. Tomorrow, I will try and get... I will try and get it. I really want to play Splatoon. Trust me. Can you buy a capture card at at the place? Can you buy a capture card at the place? I, I don't know what a, how a capture card looks, I'm gonna be honest. Maybe. Will I buy a capture card online? I don't know, I don't know. I think you usually order capture cards. Okay. No, it's not official. It's not official. Okay. Wait, I have two monitors. Can I plug my switch into one of my monitors? And you guys probably don't know. <laughs> you room for the shirt and the pants. You can. I can. Do I even need a capture card? If I have the second monitor? Oh, some people don't know. Yeah, I have a second monitor. Tubbo took me to a Best Buy, bought the monitor, sent me home with it, and said, Oh, I'll, I'll send that monitor to myself later when I go back to the UK. Three months later, I messaged him, and I'm like, So, when do you want me to send this back? And he goes, Oh, crumb. I was just joking. I don't want it. And now I have a second monitor. I still have the box for it just in case he changes his mind. But. Huh. I'm playing Splatoon 3 on one monitor and watching stream on the other monitor. Drew, could, if, could I? Can I put Splatoon 3? Do I need a capture card to stream it? Turbo moment. Classic turbo. Wait, yes, do I need a capture card? Or yes, I could stream it. You do. I do need a capture card. Yes. You guys can't say yes. I asked two questions. Yes, you need a capture card? Why? Uh, yes, I don't know the answer in parentheses. Well. Rats. Oh, rats. Okay. Thank you all for answering my questions. It'll probably be another week until I get to play again, just because I still have to order everything. But thank you guys. Thank you everyone for coming to stream today. Thank you for answering my questions. I'm gonna go into the kitchen and eat Lucky Chimes. Okay, I'll see you all. Goodbye everyone. Thank you for coming to stream. Hugs and kisses. <laughs>